I got cursed in a game of Pathfinder that I'm playing with friends at level 3. Playing a low intelligence character already, I was reduced to one intelligence. The DM has decided that I can no longer control my character, and is playing him for me. I asked if, at this point, he could just be considered dead, and let me re-roll. To which he said no, as he can still be fixed. That was two sessions ago. Ever since then, I've just sat there doing nothing, unable to play at all, while the DM has my character act utterly different from what they were, lawful neutral to just straight, chaotic, stupid. At what point do I just say fuck it and find another game? Uh, instead of asking your DM, tell him you want to play a new character. If he says no, just leave. I've tried, but he does the same, there could be someone who could cure him in the next town over bullshit. Even the other three have been trying their asses off to find one, since I was the only real frontline of the group. But apparently it's a incredibly powerful curse that can only be lifted by an unknown means. And I'll probably leave this session if I'm not allowed to re-roll or get cured. Fuck sitting around for six hours, twiddling my thumbs, while the DM laughs his ass off after having my character give an autism screech and attack a random guard out of nowhere for comic relief. My character started with eight intelligence and I got cursed for minus seven intelligence from an orc shaman that attacked us on the road. He also cursed the rogue we had with us for minus six dexterity, but that was lifted after a session due to him finding a one-time use magical stone, which they used without informing the group they'd found it. I texted some of the other players, and I think I'm going to find a new group. Apparently he does this all the time as they've played with him before. He hates anyone who plays a martial class and tries to either kill them off or get them out of the game. For the reason, in a world of magic, no one would use swords, and all the strong people are worthless, since all the smart intellectual people would have power. So, fuck that shit. Seems last time he one-shot the guy playing the defender ten times and tried to get him to make a wizard each time, and accidentally had the group fight a high-level monster early on just to kill the frontliners. Okay, I got something. From what my mates are telling me, three games ago, they had another guy like me that made the mistake of playing a martial class in the fella's quite literal magical realm. Dude played an average human fighter named Earl, so he got put in the same position I am now, where the DM was just doing shit to get him to re-roll mage. But rather than just planning to leave, he decided to just fuck with the guy. Every time he died, he'd remake a human fighter named Earl, son of Earl, and give him exactly the same stats and everything. The guy I'm texting helped Earl a little, as when the DM pulled his little minus X intelligence brings you down to one intelligence only shit, the other guy would accidentally cast a fireball in combat that would fuck Earl's ass sideways. DM homebrewed fireball's damage to 3d8 up from 1d6 per caster level. So, he had a fallback any time he got cursed, or just randomly mind-controlled. Sadly, the guy won't do this for me, as he's scared the DM will blackmail him with personal shit again. At this point, I think that's how he keeps the other three there. But it progressed to the point where Earl would die anywhere from up to 10 to 12 times a session, and would just write down a copy and hand it to the DM 
to join in again as soon as the group made camp. DM allows anyone who dies to instantly rejoin the group in the form of a random adventurer that just so happens to walk by. So thankfully, Earl was able to always reappear soon as combat ended, as the group would always camp for that exact reason. So this progressed to a point where the DM just kicked him out. Earl's last session involved him showing up with a locked briefcase that he refused to tell anyone what was in it. So things went normally. Earl dies, Earl is cursed, and dies to fireballs, Earl dies, cave falls, Earl dies, Earl gets one shot, Earl dies, Earl dies, and Earl just kept handing him new character sheets with the exact same shit. Earl, son of Earl. So when the DM finally had enough of it, and his autist showed, he screamed at the guy. How long are you going to keep handing me this stupid fucking fighter, you fucking retard? Apparently the guy just stood up, slammed the briefcase on the table, and opened it to show he had went and photocopied close to a thousand pages of Earl, son of Earl which led to a long stare-down before the DM screamed the guy out of his house and trashed the poor man's briefcase and pages. The session ended there because apparently the sight made the DM just lose his absolute shit and be unable to calm down. Okay, (laughs) you have your next session. Ask a fellow player to fireball your character accidentally, then show him your next character. Earl, son of Earl, son of Earl. Dude, he might fucking knife me. He doesn't seem like a stable type if he spent the last five years just pulling this shit. That and the legit blackmailing a guy to get him to stop killing the martial characters he curses. If he knifes you, just re-roll as Earl, son of Earl. If he knifes you, call him out for being a martial class IRL. <laughs>